Reporting live from downtown, I'm Paige Hansen, KLD News 13, live local late breaking. Paige, thank you. Here are some things you might not know about this year's El Tour de Tucson. Riders ranged in age from 8 years old to 86. There were 14 hand cyclists, and get this, a unicyclist actually rode the 111 mile course. Amazing. 10,000 gallons of water were provided for those cyclists, along with 16,000 bananas and 300 pounds of raisins. That's a lot of raisins. And there were 3,000 volunteers today, 30,000 spectators, and 300 police from nine different jurisdictions helped out keeping the streets safe and flowing smoothly. Well, the cyclists didn't have to deal with much sun today, but they did have to deal with some wind. Right now on Fox 11 News at 9, thousands of cyclists pedal their way to the finish line in El Tour de Tucson. Meet one rider who rolled in with just one wheel. Plus... This is Fox 11 News at 9. Good evening, I'm Samantha Tashkin, in for Marcelino Benito. Now in its 29th year, El Tour de Tucson once again took the streets of Tucson. Nearly 9,000 riders from across the country and the world hit the pavement this morning. Fox 11's Kevin Adger caught up with one cyclist with a unique way to ride. And they were off. Thousands of riders starting from Armory Park on either 111, 85, 60, or 42 mile race. Riders from all walks of life, from Hall of Fame basketball player Bill Walton to a neighbor or friend. So special about this race is that it gives me an opportunity to really get out there and ride the city, see the city from another perspective rather than driving around in the car. <laughs> But one cyclist stood out among the others, choosing to tackle the race in a unique way. Out here today to hand off uh, new water bottles, new hydration, uh, and snacks if he needs them to my husband, who's riding his big 36-inch unicycle in El Tour today. Andy Moore was pretty easy to spot in the crowd, the only person in the tour riding on one wheel, and his wife Kimberlyn Drew isn't surprised. It surprised me at all. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's gotten quite into unicycle riding the last few years. He's ridden up Mount Lemon. He rides it on trails. How's it going? Good, very you, good. You feel good? Yep. You look good. There's no clowning around for more. He's on a mission to beat a record set by a unicyclist who rode in the tour a couple years back. I think those guys, they finished after dark, and he anticipates if all goes well today and it doesn't get too windy on him, he should be able to finish um, hopefully by 5 o'clock. It will be far from a first place finish, but Moore says it's well worth the ride. Kevin Adger. Fox 11 News. And in case you're wondering, our unicyclist Andy Moore finished the ride in 8 hours, 51 minutes, and 45 seconds, so congrats to him. This year's tour winner, Scottsdale resident Eric Marcotte, finished in 4 hours, 29 minutes, and 30 seconds. It's his second year in a row winning the ride. We caught up with him at the finish line, where he told us today's weather posed some challenges along the course. Aerodynamics, you know, you got to push through the wind. This way was fast because the wind was pushing us back towards the home. So, you know, like sails, I mean, you got to you got to push through that stuff. So a little bit windy out there today, but the wind didn't uh, hurt too many riders. Uh, you know out what? There. It added a 